so early this year at the Festival of Speed Future Lab. Richard Browning, the inventor of the gravity jet suit, which you can see behind me, gravity branding and stuff. He launched a new jet suit, which is amazing. We had a go on it, but today we're back again to actually get a closer look at the jet suit, the jet pack, to see what it's actually like. And I'm gonna be having a go on it as well, hopefully, uh, again, properly this time without the crowd and, you know, uh, less time on it. This time I'm gonna get more time with it and see what it's actually about, see how that fits and stuff like that. So I'm actually excited about this and a uh, big shout out to Future Lab for making this happen again because uh, yeah, I told them last time I wanna have a bit, I wanna have more go on it, see what it's like, right? Launched earlier this year at Future Lab during Goodwood Festival of Speed, the new Gravity Jet Suit is a great piece of technology with so many use cases. Richard Browning, who is the inventor and lead test pilot, allowed me to have a go early this year, but I wanted to find out more about this and have another go. If you don't know about Future Labs, they bring some amazing current and future tech that you wouldn't normally see out there to the Festival of Speed in a big showcase so you can get up close and personal with the products and the people behind them. If you want to see what we got up to early this year, there's a video that will be linked in the description, so do check it out. A little more about the jet suit. It's powered by five turbines, capable of 1,050 brake horsepower and creating 300 pounds of thrust. It can spin up to 120,000 RPM and weighs 27 kilograms dry weight, with a flight time of up to 10 minutes using the Jet A1 fuel that could also use diesel, but I think that would generate more smoke. It can reach speeds of up to 55 miles per hour, but has previously achieved a speed record of just over 85 miles per hour. The jet suit is very easy to mount and would usually require some assistance to make sure it's on properly and bottling up so you're safe and sound. Inside each 3D printed arms of the suit, you have different switches, which one side is a kill switch and used to adjust power level via clicks, and the other is used to accelerate and lift off. As you can see, I'm not that experienced in this yet, so I'm tethered to a structure rigged with weights to balance out the thrust that's coming out of the jet suit, as well as my weight as well. So the whole setup is pretty cool and is very well thought through to make sure that people can try this out and train using this rig, which is pretty neat. Once hooked up and ready, I get instructed on what to do and what not to do. And if you're worried about getting burnt uh, by the flames, don't worry. As long as you're positioned correctly and you follow the instructions, all will be well. Pointing to one side, you notice that you go the other direction and pointing downwards would also push you up. Just imagine doing a press up on a table in front of you and letting the thrust do all the work of keeping you stable whilst you're in flight. Little alternate twist of the body will let you rotate or turn, uh, but also helps you control where you wanna go. But think about this as riding a bike for the first time. It's a little daunting at first, but once you get hang of it, you're good to go. It's a lot of fun, I promise. As you can imagine, it's very loud, so you wear safety headphones to protect your hearing as well. Having a go on this jet suit is probably one of the things that I could say uh, it's, it's a great experience, something that I can talk about to people all the time that I've had to go on one of these things and it's just absolutely amazing and fantastic what they've done with this thing and once you get on it at first you kind of try to get a hang of how to, how to fly, how to take off without uh, making it look feeling too jarring when you're on it so uh, you don't do a sudden movement for example you kind of just lift yourself up, bounce off the, off the landing pad and once you've done that you kind of just trust the thrust to push you and keep you steady, steady up in the air, which is pretty neat. But when Richard Browning goes on this, it just makes it look so easy. And I can imagine that's taken hundreds and hundreds uh, of tests to be able to get to this level where you can actually fly around using this thing. But uh, maybe one day I'll be able to have one of these uh, to lift off from my garden. So I know you're wondering just like I am about who would actually use this and what is it for? The British Royal Navy used the suit to conduct a visit, board, search and seizure exercise. The high risk operation usually involves a stealth team hooking onto and infiltrating a moving ship to using a fast boat, but Richard Browning was able to hop onto this uh, HMS Tama, uh, a Royal Navy Batch 2 river class offshore patrol ship using just a jet suit, which is pretty sick, which is pretty neat if you, if you ask me. It was also previously trialled in the Lake District, which is quite remote in the UK, it's a really remote area. And uh, working with the great North Air Ambulance Service, Richard Browning was able to showcase how this suit might make for a great emergency paramedic response tool in an area where you might not be able to get to very easily, full of mountains and very high, high area. So looking at those two use cases or scenarios alone, you can already imagine or kind of picture what kind of scenarios you could put this suit into a really good use case and actually use it to save lives, for example. And uh, I'm excited to see this used more and see how furthermore 
uh, Richard Browning can take this and his team and sort of the next iteration of what this suit can actually do and actually be. I also had a look on their website and there's some sort of like race series which is uh, in planning. But check out the website, see more about the suit, see about, read more about the technology, read more about what they've been up to. And if you're like me and you're asking, can you actually buy one? Well, it's not something that you can actually buy at the moment. Uh, it has to be commissioned and not everyone can commission a suit at this point. But I read somewhere that you'd be looking at around $440,000, which uh, is a lot of money, but a lot of money that's gonna generate a lot of fun as well as help when it comes to emergency responses. And it's a great piece of technology and a great piece of tool. If you want to see some more cool tech like this, tickets for the next year's Festival of Speed, where Future Lab is hosted, are on sale from the 8th of November at goodoo.com. So make sure you grab a ticket, it'll be fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you buy one of these if you, if you could commission it or have that sort of money for it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, more information about Future Lab and how you can get hold of the ticket will be in the description area. So do check it out and grab yourself a ticket uh, for the next event and find out more as well about Gravity Industry. Uh, if this is your first time around here, please just smash that subscribe button, hit the like button and the bell notification as well. So if you like videos like this, you get notified every time they get uploaded up on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.